Run, run, run. All right, here we go. Ready? Go. <laughs> I can't even start. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, so today is Saturday and I am in my classroom. It is the last weekend in my kindergarten classroom and then no more. I will be moving all my stuff to a new new school and guys, thank you so much for all your sweet responses and congratulations. Um, I am extremely excited about going to fourth grade. It is going to be a great new adventure for me and for my family and yeah. I'm excited about it. I'm excited. So, here's what I'm doing today. So we have four more days of school, four more days of kindergarten. So, um, I have to get ready for my class party. I have my class party on Tuesday. Um, Monday, I think I'm just gonna keep it just like a regular, a regular day for my kids. And my hopes is to do like an ice cream day. Um, so I'm gonna have an ice cream day on Tuesday. No, <laughs> so I'm gonna have an ice cream day on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we're gonna have the classroom party, which my classroom party is like huge. I invite parents to come to the classroom party. I set up tables, like big tables, and um, we're gonna do ice cream Sundays for the class party. So I had parents do a sign up genius for that. And um, I give them their portfolios, I give them their summer packets, the student gifts, which are pretty much some big bags, and I'll show you that in a minute. And um, I do student awards. So that is what I'm here doing. <laughs> I am here getting all this hot mess together. There are my shoes. I like to walk around this really gross floor. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Um, some people cringe to that, but not me. Um, so I'm getting the summer packets ready and then this is where I keep all of their work and these are their portfolios. Okay, so I use this ProClick GBC um, and it is a spiral bound cutter. So this will cut my papers for me um, and what you'll do is you insert them and then when you cut them, they come out with little holes. And you can buy these super cheap. They're not that expensive either, but these are the little spiral bound combs. And you insert them in, which is really easy to do actually. And then just pull them up and snip, snip, snip. Just pinch it all together. And then I have my very nicely bound summer packet. So then it's a spiral bound summer packet. How cool is that? Um, so it's just my summer journal and then they get to write their names on it. I started by giving them a little letter, just telling them that the school year's coming to end. Don't want students to forget everything that we've learned, so here's a log and I'm gonna give them a bunch of stuff inside of it. Then they have some websites they can go to, it has routines that they can follow, sample literacy journal entry, sample math entry. They have cards that they can just kind of tear out and cut them out so that they can play some of the games with them. Um, I give them sight words and then they have their calendar so they get a June calendar and a July calendar and each day they can kind of check off or just initial saying that they finished it they have some of the cool things that they did over the summer they have three of the reading logs so that they can write the book titles that they read and then they have 10 journal entries that they can complete so this is their little packet that they're gonna get inside but it came out precious. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm sitting here just binding all of these at the moment. So, woohoo, I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I am going to stuff one of my portfolios, or no, I'm gonna stuff one of my summer packets for you guys, and I wanna show you some of the things that I'm putting inside of it. So I get, I get these from the Dollar Tree, and I really, really like them. Um, they're nice and 
big so it fits everything that I want to stick inside of it. Um, I'm having a hard time taking off this sticker. Awesome. I'm making a bigger mess of this than what I wanted it to be. Why can't I do this? <sighs> okay. Uh oh. Almost. There it goes. Okay. Um, now I have it like stuck all on my fingers and I can't get it off. Okay, so inside of it, I already have a composition notebook. So this goes in there and then my summer journal goes in there that I give them. Um, and then inside of that too, we got these from our library. So I'm going to put this, it's a little calendar for some activities that they're doing this summer. Um, at the library and then I'm going to put a list of their site their first grade sight words that they're going to be learning um, Zaxby's also gave us this it's a summer reading club that they can write down and after so many they can go and get prizes and free what have you so all of this is going to go in there too if I can attempt to do that with one hand okay so all of that is goes in there and then I'm going to take like a small handful of, ah, like a small handful of index cards, about that much or so. I'm going to rubber band them and I'm going to put them in there. And then they also get books on their reading level. So I'm going to put the books on their reading level inside of this packet. And so all of this is going to go home with them um, on Tuesday so that they have some good stuff to help keep them busy and keep them learning, hopefully. So I have a few of those done. I need 15 more. Woohoo. All right, I'm gonna get busy. Okay, so my husband and my boys are gonna be coming in in just a little while. Um, I think my husband said he was gonna wait for my little one to wake up from nap. And then they were gonna come and help me move a couple things. But now that the cat's out of the bag and I can tell you guys that I am leaving, I'm going to show you guys my room um, because I've taken a lot of things out of my room. So I want you to see what it looks like semi-packed up and I'm going to tell you what else I have to still take out of my room um, and when I plan on doing that. So here's my room. guess I should back up a little bit so y'all can see. So here's my room. Back there, I took down my entire word wall, so all of that's gone. Um, a lot of my math stations are gone because everything that we do, I just kind of give them specific partner games at this point. It's the last four days of school. There's not much else going on, y'all. So um, all of this is down except for some anchor charts that we've been using for our lessons. I put our free choice items over here because where they were, um, that whole shelf is gone. Um... This little shelf here, they took home all their writing binders and their data binders yesterday, so I moved some of the other items over here in this spot. I have to clean that. Whoops. Um, so I put their writing paper over here because I took that other shelf out. It was falling apart really bad, so I ended up just putting it in the back. Um, I put the big book stand over here, and then we have some markers, crayons, and colored pencils that we've been using, so I just stuck that there. Um, I'm leaving these books until after our after our class party um, and then I'm gonna pack these and put those into my storage unit that we have um, back behind my table sorry look at my table it looks really messy right now um, back behind my table I got rid of all of my shelves and my filing cabinets all of those went yesterday afternoon so after school my husband came and picked all that up um, this stuff that's up here all of that stuff is gonna go probably Wednesday I might just pack it into one box and take it with me but like those books that are right there all that's gonna stay um, pencils that I sharpen and give them pencils every day that's gonna go go with me and um, my bookshelves are all gone so I took those books and those bookshelves and I left only a few of them out that that stand stays here at school property so I don't I won't take that with me um, so that's what we just have a big window space right now um, today my husband is going to help me take this out he's gonna come and pick that up um, he has a few other items over here to pick up that he's gonna take with him this I don't take with me um, the actual 
is that kitchen set that school property um i might take this on um Tuesday afternoon when I take pretty much everything else like my books and stuff on Tuesday afternoon after the party is when I'm gonna take that so I'm gonna take this as well because we won't need that on Wednesday or Thursday I have extra boxes over here as you can see there's nothing over here anymore so I have extra boxes over here um, I bought this um, really pretty chalkboard and I did a little chalk art for some ladies who are retiring so I had that up for them so my husband's gonna come pick this up today because it is now all emptied out these are just empty file folders and this was mine so I purchased that with my own money um, and then some of these other items this is literally the hot mess that it is for me to create summer packets and portfolios and this is what my room is gonna look like until I get it done which hopefully I can get it done by Monday so yep that's my room, it's pretty empty. They came in and they're all like, what, what's happening? So in my video, I talked a lot about how, you know, if you're having to pack up, you need to start early. I had to start early because what's going to happen is on, so on Thursday is the last day for students and it's an early dismissal day. Friday teachers come and it's a teacher work day and that's pretty much us getting our room checked out, turning all the last things in, putting, giving them our, um, time card and then we have one last kind of lunch meeting um, as a school so um, once that's done I'm going to the lake with some friends on Saturday and then on Sunday I am driving to Pennsylvania because what's gonna happen is I have to be there on the 31st to fill out my paperwork and meet my team that I will be working with next year and um, on the second, I actually get to meet my fourth grade students for the next year. So, um, what they do is on that day, everybody in that district kind of shifts and they go to their next year teacher so that they can kind of get acquainted to the school. We'll do a tour of the school and then we're going to come back, do some get to know you activities. And I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about what I'm planning to do with them for the second. So I will be in Pennsylvania literally after this so i have to have my entire room cleared out so i've been going little by little and cleaning everything out so i did finish cleaning out my let me see if i can Ooh, it's dark my hair looks ratty today um i did get all this cleared out so all this stuff is cleared out and then all the stuff that was like school stuff I just kind of put it inside here so whoever has this next will have um, a spot I had to pack up my Amstai kit so all my Amstai materials are in there and then this is all cleared out now um, and then all the stuff that I've purchased with school money is in there so that's pretty much the situation like how empty my room is it's crazy so that's what I that's what I'm doing I'm waiting for my husband to get here so he can do all that good stuff and uh, yeah. sitting in front of my window chillaxing so I'm gonna get back to creating my summer packets it's taking forever talk to you guys later sitting here in my room and I'm doing stuff and I'm like right here at this window and I'm loving how it looks out here right now I mean there's like this dark cow the sun and semi shining through oh my gosh it's so pretty y'all I'm gonna miss my windows I am straight up going to miss these windows because I know for a fact that I will not have windows like these at the school but I'm straight up gonna miss my windows and my room y'all comment all the time about how big my room is and how amazing it is and it's it really is amazing like whoever's gonna end up having this room after me 
there you're so lucky because it is so super amazing it's beautiful i love these windows right now it's hot and i wore a sweater for some odd reason it's just one of those days but yeah i thought i wanted to show y'all that look at that cloud it's so pretty like i don't even know if you can see that so there's just a little bit of blue coming through there and there's this big huge gray cloud it's so pretty i like the rain I like it. I like it when it rains. I like the rain. So, yep, I'm still working. So now I've been in my room for about a, three hours or so. Um, I did have to run out for a little bit and pick up some other things that I was missing, but I did get a little bit accomplished. Um, right now I am cleaning off my table, which is really, really, really gross. Um, but I am going to have to finish everything else tomorrow. Um, just don't have all the time right now to get it done. I have to go home and have some family time with my kiddos, which they've been here with me causing a ruckus. But I wanted to show you guys a couple of things because I know that I got rid of my file cabinet, <laughs> which pretty much kept my entire stuff organized, which I do still have this one here. Um, and it's great because this one keeps track of like my tasks like my to do's and everything um, But as far as like everything that I'm doing throughout the week like the papers that I copy for my students and um, Keeping all of that good stuff organized. Yeah, that thing is gone. So here's what I did. I have uh, um, one of these and these are so great. I absolutely love these little things um, It's just a wire basket that I got from say or Office Depot one or the other I'm not sure but all of my things that we're getting done are going to be in here and this so this is for the very last week this is all the stuff that we're doing so I wanted to show you guys that really fast but now everything else is pretty much cleaned up my kids came made a huge huge mess um, I did get the majority of my summer packets done I didn't even get to touch my portfolio so I'm gonna have to work on those tomorrow so um, I did get the majority of my summer packets done although so I do need about three of them still like I have two different folders because the dollar store didn't have enough of the other ones that I normally buy but um, I usually I need three about I need to have about three in Spanish so I have to go home and make sure I get those put down in Spanish so so that those mamas can have them. Um, my desk got cleared off a little bit which is really really nice because it was extremely messy. My husband came took that little stand home took that and put it in his truck that whole thing is gone so now all of that stuff is gone and my son was over here playing with a bunch of stuff inside of the kitchen so everything's pretty much starting to get cleared out here's oh here's a really great angle of my room look at that man my room looks really big it looks way bigger on camera than what it is in person so don't be fooled like it really does it looks huge on camera but like me looking at it and then looking at the screen, they're totally different. So a lot of my stuff is getting cleared out. So yes, so I am getting ready to go. The boys are waiting for me outside. So I will talk to you all tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and I will try to respond to them as soon as I can. I hope you guys have a really great weekend. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Okay, so I came to drop off all my stuff. Wanted to show you guys my storage unit. It is a 10 by 10, 10 by 10. Yep. And it has fit my entire classroom inside of it. That's crazy. There are my shelves. There's the saran wrap in case anybody's wondering what that looks like. So here's my shelf wrapped in the saran wrap. Um, these are my book boxes and these are all wrapped in the saran wrap as well. So all of that's inside of there. I mean, like, literally boxes and boxes galore. So, yeah. that's what my storage unit looks like, if any of you guys wanted to know. <laughs> Soon, hopefully, this will be inside of a classroom, and my battery is about to die. So, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye! I've been to do for about a month now. So I guess some of you have noticed that I haven't been blogging as much lately and I have a complete 